Hi, and welcome to my playhouse and the creepy basement. Um, I have a tiny little issue with my battery bank and I thought that it might be um, a valid video because it's, it's kind of a mystery to me. But uh, yeah, it, it might, I might get some help from you and it might help someone else um, along the way. So um, I have done multiple videos on, uh, on my battery banks and connecting more and more batteries to it. So I have a, uh, have a big inverter, a die inverter, uh, I'm not sure. It's a 12 kilowatt inverter and I've actually only used it like six kilowatts. I haven't even used it fully, but um, yeah, let's go see what it's all about. It actually has nothing to do with this, but just uh, my, uh, my new battery box, which still hasn't any cells, has magically uh, moved itself into the basement. It was very heavy to get in here, but uh, yeah, that is, uh, that is to be, um, apparently the cells are gonna be coming at the end of this month. So um, yeah, we might be playing with that at that point. So I have actually purchased some cable for, for this video because uh, let me continue on the mystery. So in here, uh, together with the high pitch noise is um, six battery banks. We have four down here, which is uh, all of them are similar batteries. And up here is two other sets. These are a different brand, and this is four 12 volt batteries. And each of them makes uh, 48 volt batteries uh, that the inverter likes. So inverter is very happy. Right now it's 100% uh, happy. Right there, battery is, is good. Power is still coming in from the solar panels. Not a lot, but enough to power everything without using the battery. Yet, it's, um, it's good. All good. Um, but I have found when I, uh, uh, I like to mess around and try and sell power when it's expensive. So when there is money in it, I like to uh, tell the inverter, sell power and it will make a few bucks. And it, I'm very amused about that. Uh, it's not a fortune, but I think it's funny. So um, when I do that, I have only, this inverter can do 12,000 watts but I have only used it for 6,000 watts, but even 6,000 watts, I have noticed that uh, it has a tendency to, to flip the breaker. It flips the ones that are closest to the bus bars. So it's as if then, even though these cables are very similar, like from that battery and the difference over to that battery, the in, this battery will have a higher voltage than that battery. It's not very uh, noticeable, but you can actually see it on these uh, battery uh, balancers. The voltage is a tiny bit higher here than over there. And then it changed and it showed something completely different for, for a little bit. So it's very similar they have had hours to equalize both between that one and that one so today it might not be very noticeable but if i um but if these batteries are fully discharged and the sun suddenly comes up and pumps 6000 watts into the system i have seen that these um relays which is 80 amps that they will trigger sometimes and uh, cut off and also if um, if the battery is full and um, like if if the batteries has just charged up to 100% and I kind of almost immediately s tells it that, okay, start selling your power 6,000 watts. Um, way too much power will be coming from the batteries that are closest to the inverter because the wires are a little bit better. That's my theory anyway. I can't understand that it should be that much, uh, that it will trigger an 80 amp fuse. I would think that the battery is very close and with the shorter cables might pull like 10 amps more than the other ones, but that shouldn't trip the breaker. And I have seen that and I kind of, I'm weirded out about that. I don't understand what's going on. So, my thought is that um, I might have to make 
the the cables longer to the batteries that are closer so um yeah i've been thinking about that how i could do that i didn't actually have any cable left so that's why i purchased some more cable but my idea is actually to take uh, the cable from the batteries that are furthest away and just put that on the battery that is closer and then make a new cable for the one that is further away um i think that might uh, do the trick and uh, balance that part out as well i had one of these breakers die on me it had flipped a couple of times and i had uh, connected it again and it had flipped again and then at some point i came down here and it was um it was in the lock position but it wouldn't move oh sorry it was in this position uh, but it uh, it had uh, melted itself inside ish right now it's it's um there's a lot of loose parts inside because i thought that i might be able to reuse some of the stuff inside but so i removed two screws in the bottom and and that did absolutely nothing for me but this had uh, this had died and couldn't do this and right now it, it can't do it either it doesn't it doesn't log into place so i purchased a new one and i can just see how that is supposed to work so here is a good one so you're supposed to flip that down and when you press the button it should flip up again so uh, if you pull more than 80 amps it should disconnect itself and it, it apparently does but yeah it uh, I think it might have uh, might have run at about 80 amps and didn't flip very well and became warm. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that cable there and I'm gonna replace it with that cable there. So I'm gonna take that one out, I'm gonna take that one over there, put it in here, and then I'm gonna make a new cable for that one over there. That means that before I connect this, I'm going to measure how long the cable is, that cable, uh, before I pop it in there. So uh, we can disconnect the batteries here and I'll get on working with that. I need some electric tape so that I can, I can insulate it a little bit while I'm working on it. Okay, I just told the system to start selling to the grid. So right now it's pumping out 6 kilowatts and I was hoping to see power drop, see which batteries are doing highest and lowest now i can turn all the thinkies on they look this one is pretty low compared to to that one so it seems like more power is coming from that one or there is less power in it could also be why um but i had another idea that i discussed with a colleague today and that was to measure the power drop over the wires and see how much um, what the power drop is so i'm gonna try and see if i can do that measure how much uh, voltage there is from this end of the red wire to that end of the red wire just to see um, if it's uh, if it's a lot or if it's not a lot and right now we are pulling like a lot of power uh, we are pulling a hundred and eleven uh, hundred and eleven amps so that is considerable you're not gonna have the best picture of this but um, I'm gonna measure the battery that is closest to us and we get a power drop of approximately 50 millivolts there then I'm gonna go and measure the one that is further away the next one and we get 115 millivolts so there is most definitely a power drop there let's see we have the, the next batteries the, the one on the next shelf the closest one 270 and rising millivolts and over here we have a hundred and 96 millivolts so there is quite a difference between that hmm so the way the lowest uh, voltage is right there so this is where way the lowest resistant is 
and that is also where way the shortest cables are because I was running out of cable when I was installing this so it came very close so probably I need to fix that battery there and that is also the device that stopped working yeah probably I only need to fix that one and I'm fixing it by making it worse which is ridiculous but yeah that's how it is sometimes and uh, <laughs> when I was uh, going to be selling I used my phone to turn on the inverter and I got an email from the, the company that I sell my power to and I've actually over the last three months I made a hundred dollars selling power to the grid so a uh, hundred bucks a little bit more than a hundred bucks but just ever so slightly more than a hundred bucks so yeah rich and famous <laughs> so I'm just gonna take the cable out here disconnect this cable so we're going to take all the stuff off of it okay I'm gonna wait a little bit by disconnecting it I have some tape here that I'm gonna put on it I have shut the I'm not selling anymore uh, I want it to stress while I'm working on this and it's noisy as well so. You're not, you're not seeing what I'm doing. Mm. Great camera, thank you. So, this cable, which is the shortest one, is off. And then we're gonna put a longer one in. We are also gonna remove the negative one. Okay, so now I have the red one out, which is gonna go in there. I stole it from in there, but I'm gonna measure how long it needs to be before I do that, so that I don't have to uh, to do that afterwards. Okay, so if we do a half a meter, half a meter there. Can you remember that please? And we have the negative one as well. So let's see. That is one meter there. Well that's longer. about one meter 55 so 130 155 okay so as now this is up and running oh actually now it's up and running and I stole the cables from in there so I need to make new cables for that one and uh, the red one was a hundred and that's because it comes from that box I didn't of course that is closer and down there uh, it has that thing so uh, I didn't take that into account I was wondering why one of them was that much longer than the other one naturally I'm just stupid well never mind I'll go and and fix two cables for that okay two new cables one black one and you reminded me this was 155 centimeters and this one the red one 130 centimeters and I even have the red heat shrink and put that thing on again so yeah I'm gonna be mounting that on the batteries in there uh, right in there I could have just have uh, made new cables for that one but 
I would have to disconnect those anyway and measure them and so those two battery banks should be about the same. I have the same issue up here although it did look like I had a, as much of an issue when I measured the voltage drop in the cables it seemed like uh, it was more bad down here. Uh, yeah so uh, yeah I'll mount those two cables it's a drag to film that in there so I'm gonna not bother with that and um, get back to you when it's all done or when I have something interesting to say. Okay all the cables are in place all the cables are in place I have connected everything back on again and this is a weird one it's not really an upgrade it's more like a downgrade so that the batteries are more equal so that there's the lo the same length from from this battery and to the box and from that battery and to the box to see if that makes much of a difference I'm gonna try and, and configure this to export some power again and then I'm gonna measure the millivoltage of power drops in the cables and see if they are more equal now okay it doesn't look like it has made much of a difference so if we uh, if I measure from over here am I in the, in the way there to there we are uh, we have like 60 millivolts of voltage drop in that cable and we have like a hundred and fifty in that one and on top we have 265 and over here we have about 200 we'll mm. bring in that one 157 and I can't can I reach no I can't reach the last one that is really weird that makes no sense whatsoever. I am confused. I have no idea what's going on. So um, I took the cables from over there where the resistance was 120, I think, and moved them over there and the resistor drops to 60. Uh, I don't know if this wire could have anything to do with it. Uh, I doubt it. And up here, the wires up here has a way higher resistance uh, or power drop to the... Yeah, I am confused. So I'm gonna leave you in the middle of this confusion and I would be very happy to hear your take on this. Why, what is going on? Um, is it really that important for the wires to be exactly equally long? I would have thought that uh, one battery would maybe have a better connection to the system than the others and they would pull a little bit more power but when they pull a little bit more power the voltage will drop on that battery and the other ones will kick in very quickly because they are supposed to be at the same voltage all of them uh, so yeah thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day Bye-bye.